Hola chicos, en este video vamos a aprender sobre el presente perfecto en español o present perfect tense. El resumen. Se usa el presente perfecto para expresar have done en español y en inglés también, ¿sí? Aquí hay algunos ejemplos en inglés. So I'm going to switch to English real quick. And we're going to take a look at these sentences. So the present perfect tense is to explain have done something. We use this in English and in Spanish. In other languages as well. So look at the first one. Um, I have spoken in Spanish. Now if we look in red and rojo, we have the verb have. Say you have done something, I have, we have. Okay? Now, in Verde or green, sort of a greenish color, we have the past participle, okay? So the past participle of to speak is spoken. I have spoken in Spanish. Same thing with the rest of them. So let's go through these real quick. You have driven a Ferrari. We have the verb to have conjugated. In green, we have driven, which is the past participle of the verb to drive or drive. And rojo, again, we have the verb to have conjugated, and we have cooked, which is our past participle, which comes from the, the verb to cook. And then we have, she has traveled to Guayaquil three times. Again, red, we have the verb to have conjugated, and we have the past participle in green. The past participle in this sentence is traveled, which comes from the verb to travel. Okay, so that's basically it. We just might not have heard the term uh, present perfect or anything before, but that's essentially it. And it works uh, very uh, similar uh, in a similar way um, in Spanish as well. So let's take a look. Lo que tenemos aquí, yo voy a continuar hablando en español. So este es... ¿Cómo formamos el presente perfecto en español? Se forma y usa el presente perfecto en español en una manera semejante al inglés. So lo que tenemos aquí en la izquierda es el verbo haber, which means to have. Now, I'm going to switch back to English. To have, we know means, uh, well, typically we use the verb tener, but we use tener to talk about having things or having to do things. This is going to, we just use haber to say I've done something, you've done something, etc. And it's completely irregular. Let's take a look. Yo he, tú has, él he, usted ha, nosotros hemos, vosotros habéis, and he, usted, usted is han. Now actually this one is regular, but the rest are irregular. So the first thing we're going to need is this, uh, conjugated for whoever we're describing. Now let's take a look in verde. These are our participles pasados, past participles. Remember from the other screen. Okay, and here's just some examples. Hablado, spoken, comido, eaten, vivido, lived, and so forth. Now in, on the next uh, slide, I believe we're going to uh, learn how to actually form these. Vamos a aprender. Participios pasados, esos son regulares. Para formar los participios pasados de verbos regulares, esto es lo que tenemos que hacer. Vamos a mirar aquí. En la izquierda tenemos los verbos AR. We have AR verbs. La terminación en italics, ADO. So all we're doing is just putting ado at the end of the stems of these AR verbs. Hablado from hablar, spoken. Repasado from the verb repasar. It means reviewed. Mirado, watched from the verb mirar. Jugado, played from the verb jugar. And expresado. Expressed from the verb expressar. Okay. Again, all we're doing is adding ado at the end of the stems. This is just the part, uh, past participles. 
Vamos a mirar aquí en la derecha. ER, IR verbs. Cambian a ido. So, AR goes to ado. ER and IR share the same ending. In this case, it's ido. Vamos a mirar aquí. Comido. Aten from the verb comer. Introducido. Introduced from the verb introducir. Comprendido. Comprehended from the verb comprender. Querido. Wanted or loved from the verb querer. Salido. Left from the verb salir means to leave. Vamos a mirar algunos ejemplos aquí. Um, so vamos. Oh, no, no tenemos ejemplos. Tenemos participios pasados irregulares que son comunes. Now what these are are just some irregular past participles that we're going to see. Now they don't change the same way as the other ones do. We have the pattern on the screen before it. Let's just go through a few of these. Abrir is abierto, which means open. Abierto means open. Okay? So these are irregular because they don't share the same pattern. Morir, muerto, dar, poner, puesto, put. Cubrir, cubierto, covered, and so forth. Ya hemos repasado estos en clase y como ya saben, este es un video para uh, repasar um, lo que hemos hecho en clase. So vamos a mirar esos ejemplos. Examples, por fin. En la izquierda tenemos español, en la derecha tenemos inglés. And let's take a look right here. Rojo and red. We have haber conjugated. Remember, haber means to have. Azul, we have el participio pasado de otro verbo. The past participle of whatever verb. So let's take a look at the first one. <clears throat> He viajado a Nueva York. In English, I have traveled to New York. Okay? Look at how they match up. A, I, I have viajado, traveled. And Azul, we have our past participles. Has comido la paella. You have eaten or eaten the paella. Look okay, at how they match up, see? Juan ha vivido en Colombia. Juan has lived in Colombia. So these three are all regular. Todos son irregulares, esos tres. Pero vamos a mirar aquí, estos son irregulares. Past participle, irregular. Hemos abierto la puerta. We have opened the door. Abierto is an irregular past participle from the verb abrir, which we know means to open. Y vamos a mirar la última frase. Ellos han visto la película. They have seen the movie. Visto, participle pasado, irregular, irregular past participle from the verb ver, which we know means to see. Ok, ese es un video que ustedes um, obviamente han visto, que explicó cómo formamos y cómo usamos el presente perfecto en español y también uh, les dio a ustedes algunas explicaciones. Gracias por mirar, adiós y que tengan un buen día. Chao.